Hi there, I'm Elaine Rosenberg from Neo4j. In this video, I will show you how to create and use your own Neo4j Aura free tier database. Assuming that you have an Aura free tier account, you simply log in to the site at console.neo4j.io. The first time you log in, you will need to read and consent to the terms of use for this free Neo4j instance in the cloud. Then you simply click Create a Database. You have the opportunity to create a single free database that is limited to 50,000 nodes and 175,000 relationships. We select the free instance here. To create this instance, we must also supply a name. Here we name it Graph A. We click Create. Then we see a window that provides us with the credentials for this database. The username will always be Neo4j. The password has been generated, and it is important to copy this password for later use. We acknowledge that we have copied and pasted the password, and then we click Continue. Here we return to the Databases view, and we see that Neo4j Aura is setting up the database. This takes a few minutes. When the database transitions to running, you are free to access it from this UI or any other client where you use the provided connection URI. In this UI, notice that you can access the database using Neo4j Browser or Neo4j Bloom. Here we open Neo4j Browser from the UI, which we'll we will use to connect to our running database. We enter the user Neo4j and the password for the database that we saved. Then we click Connect. The colon play start command is automatically executed from this browser guide where you will learn more about Neo4j Browser. You can go through the first browser guide by clicking the Get Started link shown here. This browser guide introduces you to how to use Neo4j Browser. You can then navigate back to the starting browser guide and select the Play Guide link. This browser guide enables you to load your database with movie data. Then you can follow along in the guide to perform queries against the movie graph. After you have executed the cipher statements to load data into the graph, you can click the database in the sidebar to see what nodes, relationships, and properties are in the graph. And finally, you can view the browser guide that teaches you basic cipher by clicking the Start Querying link. This concludes our look at how to create and use your own Neo4j Aura free tier database.